All right, so today's episode, we're going to go through, you're going to get a little insight on what it actually takes, the time and the attention to detail and the little things of, of what's involved with uh, doing an upholstery, reupholstery on, on a classic Buick, per se, or any car. <laughs> We got the seat done. This is after. And here's before. Alright, we got the one seat done. We come around here. We're going to disassemble the last piece of this puzzle here is the back seat. The back of the driver's side. So, right, let's, uh, let's tear this puppy down and recreate it. All right, here we go. Now, what I want to say is, one of the hardest parts about filming and, and restoring these seats is I can't listen to the radio. <laughs> I normally listen to the radio as we do this, but if I did that, then it, I couldn't post videos because of copyrights. But, you know, anyway, let's get to it. Take all the screws out. That's what these little jars for. A little mason jar. I keep all my screws in it that I take out of the seats. Blink. All right. <clears throat> now I have, since I take the other seat apart, right? You would think, ah, that should be a piece of cake. I already did one. I would say yes and no. Anyway, let's get the oh, oh, one on the top. Clean them up now. Hog rings. About a thousand hog rings. Hog rings. Here we go. Yeah, just a nice twist. Twist, grab and twist with my dikes. Boom. I already have these patterns made, so I don't really need to be very cautious how I rip this apart, but uh, since I already have. So, it could be a little bit easier than normal. These are hog rings in too. Once I take this off, the whole thing should peel.
gonna hit hog rings all down the front here. Yes, sir. There we are. There's only about a thousand of them, right? said I'm not saving any of this even the foam everything's coming off of this so I'm just trying not to be you know pig about it I just ripped this all off Plus, I don't want to make a mess here either, and this is going to make a mess, as I, you can imagine. Yeah. off and put it right in the garbage. Right. Flip her over because I want to get the buttons. all these buttons in the front. Have to come so we might as well just dress that right now while we're here. I think a lot of people don't understand or realize the the time the time it takes the time and effort it takes to restore a seat like this. Alright now these buttons should all pop off. <clears throat> Old knife ski. Oop. Yeah, there you go. Just want to show you. They're going to fight right to the end. I'm going to. Boop. Oh, you went flying. You go get him.
anyway, I took one out just to show you, you know, this is what the buttons look like. They go in and they, these particular ones just go in and they flap over on the back, holds the button in. Now the foam, you know, this happens, this is very common on older cars. Just due to the age of the foam, what happens is it, you know, it dries out and as you can see it just, you know, turns to like, uh, it turns to just like a, a yellow snow, <laughs> dried up yellow snow. I don't know how to put it. Like a cheese. It's like a like a Parmesan cheese. That's the best thing I can relate to, I guess. A little Parmesan cheese. I bet it doesn't taste like Parmesan cheese, but. Okay, here we go. Back one over. Rip, rip, rip. Uh, yeah. I think we got her. Oh, a couple more. Oh, don't panic. Just one. Two. Come on, come on. Come on, little buddy. Here it is. Oh, one more. And oh, man. two more. And there's more hog rings here. Uh, okay. A couple more for good luck, I guess. free. She's free. There she is. There's our, what well, would be a seat pattern. But we already made patterns. We don't need to worry about this. Yes, sir. That looks good. Before I throw this out, I'm going to shove it under here for now. But I want to get this out of here. Oh yeah. This is going to be a shop vac. 
special. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Get the shop right. Okay. All right. I want to get this foam off of here now. This foam is just like I said, gone. She still exists. Maybe I'll get the shop back out right now. Because I am making a mess. I usually take my hog rings and I chuck them now. So I'll step on them. <clears throat> now the foam is held on the same way. It's it's uh it's got some hog rings on it. So once again we'll just uh pop them off. Doesn't make any sense for me to just rip this all apart because I still gotta take the hog rings off the frame when I put the new on, you know? So just take your time, take them all off. Foam, put it right, right in the old garbage, and then clean up here a little bit. Hold on there, that's good. We'll get her off. Boom. Come on. Alright, let's chuck this. Chop, chop, chop. take this right to the garbage and then break back so we can keep going all right we got her cleaned down pretty much got all the foam off and I'm gonna set this aside we're gonna start working on re um, Rebuilding the seat. We're gonna start sewing the seat up. All right, here we go with the weld. I want to show you a little trick. Um, this diameter off of here, it's a little big. It should be about a half inch. Of, should be about a half inch all the way around. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start it on the bottom here. Leave a little over, a little over the edge, okay? Start it right on the bottom. You know what, I'm going to trim it. I don't like it. we got to trim this down a little bit. I want exact half inch. I'll show you why. All right, here we go. We start at the bottom here with the welt facing in right on the edge. And I'm going to show you how a little, little trick. You take a staple and you want to staple it right on the end. Okay? Give it a couple inches here. Now, you don't have to do this, but it's a lot easier when you're first starting to do this instead of holding it all. It looks like this. Oh, where are you at? All right, right on the edge. This will hold it, so you don't have to. So you don't have to hold it while you're sewing. Keep it as straight as you can. Now, when I get to the top here, I'm gonna go around the corner. A little trip, a little tip here. We gotta cut this. Gotta make little slices. So it'll bend around the corner. Now look at that. I have even one more here. Right around the corner. Okay, same thing. Snip right around the corner. A couple snips. So what we created here, we have our pipings on the way I want it, all the way around. All right, because now when we get our pieces together to sew, I show you that. I can make that corner nice. So now when I get my pieces, this is this is the top piece. I can lay them out perfect how exactly how they're gonna look. Okay. Now 
Actually, they're they're cut pretty darn close. I must say. Okay. That doesn't look bad at all. The way that's set out like that. So, what I want to do, I'm going to take these pieces. These are good here. And these are good here. I am going to sew these together. Let's go do that. Now, this guy's going to go like this. I don't have to staple this, but I'll show you just for conversation. Okay, so I have my my first piece that I'm gonna sew ready to go. I have a staple. Okay, and then while I'm at it, I might as well show you this. I show I'll sew this one on here like this, trying to keep the the bottom corner, the bottom corner here. I want to keep that right at the bottom of this piece of fabric here, this piece of nylon because staples. Now when I start sewing I'm probably going to pull them staples out but there's there's the piece I'm going to first piece I'm going to sew together just like that. Okay. Let's go. Alright now once again I'm going to use this its own machine, the old singer. Nothing wrong with it. I'm not even gonna change the foot on it. It's it's uh, it's a piping foot, but I already got the thread set up. Now I use the console for the heavy for the heavy stuff, and uh, this thing will sew through leather. This thing is a different scenario. This is more has a little more finesse. You can't really go through heavy stuff, um, but for this, it's already. I don't want to waste my good thread, my exposed thread that I have set up on the console. I'm going to use the Singer with just a close thread that it's going to, you're never going to see it. So, all right, let's sew these up quick. All right. I don't want to, I don't want to hit them staples I put in. Come on. Alright. So where I have the staples, I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut that off anyway. Just to the right. These scissors are beat. I use my scissors like hammers, I guess. So you have to understand that. I gotta get better scissors. Here you go. Chop, chop. Ta -da. All right. Now, I'm not done with this. I'm going to sew this side yet, too. But I'm not done with this. I'm going to reinforce this. This, when I, when I go to sew it on with the, with the piping on the front on the front uh, pattern I got. I'm going to reinforce the, the, the crap out of this. You'll see. All right. Same scenario, let's cut that. Cut those staples right off. And I don't have to take them off then, if I cut them off. All right, right on the line. Very nice, uh-uh-uh, okay.
All right, so now we are gonna sew everything together now, okay? We're gonna bring the pattern over. We're gonna sew everything together now with the pattern. Alrighty, alrighty, let's see here, that's no good. Very important here. What you want to do, you want to make sure you get your centers. So once you start sewing, this bad boy is going to lay where it's supposed to. All right, here we go. So what I got, I got the center. I marked my, I marked my material. Okay, I found the center of this piece. And I put a mark on my pattern. Because I want to line that up perfect. All right. Now this is how I do it. I'm going to sew this way, and then I'm going to sew this way. Because I want to lock in the top of my piece so it's dead center, and there's no way it could shift left or right. All right. So we go over to the fancy machine, I guess. I don't know. Now, very important when you're sewing this, take your time. You want to keep your. Let me see if I can get this in here better. When I'm sewing this, I want to make sure that my piping stays right on that line. Okay, very important. So this. There's no such thing as speed here. Double check, double check, triple check. Alright. When we get to the corner, make sure that this is all laying down nice. As we go around. Alright, start to turn nice. I'm gonna lay this corner down. Here. There we go. Now it's a straight away, nice straight away. Let's not get nuts here. not bad but as you could see up in here I don't want to see that I don't want to see that thread so we're gonna go uh, flip it back right and we're just gonna make another pass we're gonna make it a little bit closer than we did I'll tighten that right up So, 
nice and easy. Locker in. Really hug this corner closer. Now I want to I want to back up and I want to really lock that in. Very nice. Oops. I want to hit that. I think I hit it. Got a little close. Crap. I have to pop that stitch out. It's a little better. Alright, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. As you can see. Okay? See? All the way down, nice. Alright, now we're gonna do this side. Now this is the same scenario, but I gotta sew it from the other direction. But I wanna really Make sure that I get this corner where I want it. So it's important. I don't want to stretch it. I want to keep it to where I don't have to stretch it. So that's good. In the hole. We get this corner nice. Somehow it got pinched in that corner. Alright, we're gonna have to come up with something there. 
This side's good. I don't really like this side. I'm going to have to cut this and redo it. Happens. It happens. It happens. You know, I, uh, I started doing upholstery out of basically necessity. So, that's better. We just caught. And we'll hit it again. Because, you know, over the years of building hot rods, and um, we would do the motor, we would do the body work, we would do everything, and we would always, you know, I would always find the, the interior, I didn't have time or didn't, and, uh, you know, we'll just let it go or sub it out. But now, you know, I've been doing this for a couple of years, so. doing this for a couple of years the upholstery and uh, I find it very challenging I find it uh, rewarding yeah, that's much better that'll stretch nice I find it you know I find it just as appealing as well, you know, painting a car. And... But in the wintertime, what are you going to do anyway, other than upholstery? Really, I mean, I got a heated garage, but, you know, nothing beats the old warm air. I don't like that there. So, got to hit that again. Show you what I mean. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay. All right. So that's one piece of this puzzle. Got her ready. All right. Let's see what else we got. All right. Same scenario, we're adding the top piece onto the seat. I got my piping already stapled on in place. I got my top piece stapled on so I know where the center is. All right, all right, let's see here. sure we stay as close as we can to the piping like it's going to light just right. Right, looking good, looking 
Great shot. Now if you notice, I haven't hit any of those staples because they're all on the outside. And my half inch seam allowance that I have keeps everything where it should be. Taking my time. Locks it in. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's check her out. Man, that's nice. That came out real nice. See? Alright. Let's do the other side. Um, we're getting there. This is going to obviously go over there. And as you can see, we're getting it. We're getting it to close, you know, match what we got here. All right. All right. So let's keep moving. All right. Hmm. Lots to do. Let's keep moving. Okay. We're going to get ready to sew this piece for the back of the chair here she is right now ready to go I got her centered up let's sew it up yeah Like I was saying to you earlier, the hardest part about doing these videos, I would say, is not being able to listen to music as I'm working. That is not easy. The silence is deafening. Alright, so what you want to do, like I said, we want to stay as close as we can to the piping. So. We're going to follow this right down the line here. I'm going to have to hit that again like I did the other side. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, a little bit. Just want to close that corner up. Very important we close this corner. Wrinkles in it. 
Got a couple wrinkle wrinkles there. We're gonna have to get them out of there. But other than that, it's pretty tight. I like it. It'll come out when we stretch this out. All right, there we go. Back piece. Back piece, back piece. All right, let's keep going.
All right, as you can see, the seats are getting real close. I, I, I put them together, set them down so I can, I, can, I can level everything up. Now we're gonna put the buttons on, okay? I make my own pin buttons. Okay, just like they did, I guess. I don't know, they might've did these a long time ago. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put all of them in. Once I get my pin buttons situated, and in place, that's it. The seats don't, they're not going anywhere. Then I can close them up, hog ring them, and take all the wrinkles out, yada, yada, yada. We got a lot to do, but this is, uh, we're getting close. Let's go. Uh, when I go through, I go above the stitch. I don't break that stitch with the button. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of counterproductive. Mud on. Mud on the me. Mud on Jeff. Adjustment. Adjustment. There it goes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right there. Come on. Okay, that's tough stuff. There it goes. Okay. Give it a little push, push. There, you see that? Very nice. Now, I 
put the backer on. I put a washer and I twist it. I show you. So how I do it is I take a washer. This goes through, okay, like this, and I and I can pull it, pull it through, and then I cinch it on the back. So this can't go anywhere. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Watch your watch. Hey, right, how's that look? A little more. Uh, maybe a little more squeeze on that one. Right? How's that? Ah, oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, keep going. I'm going to put them all in. I'm going to put them all in and then we'll come back and, you know, see what it looks like. We'll take the heat gun here. We'll, we'll stretch this out. This will come out. Okay, next. Okay, here we go. I'm going to snug it. Let's see. Okay. I like that. Actually, the now it don't look that bad no more. Huh. Let's see. Let me get some of these wrinkles out of here. This has to get put back. This has to get pulled back this way. Maybe we'll get that out with the, with the heat gun. Yep. Alright. The buttons are in. I'm gonna get some camera. Uh -oh. Alright, the buttons are in. The buttons are in on the first seat. Um I'm gonna finish the other one. I'm gonna come back. We're gonna we're gonna clean this all up nice. See if we can get this all stretched in nice where it should be, get it all hog drink put together, and uh we're getting real close. All right, now we got the Buick seats done. The 63 Buick seats are done, and we are off on to another project. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.